All right, so today I'm going to talk about a topic that's really interesting to me as a woman because for me, I need to be able to look and feel special at all times. And it's really hard when I'm on Instagram, when I'm on the telly, and I see people with better bodies than myself. And when I'm in a relationship and it doesn't work, I think, was it me? Was it how I looked? Was it that my tits were a bit saggy? Was it that my belly was like a kangaroo pouch? What was it? So today I wanted to talk about plastic surgery. And I want to talk about it in real life. You know, the real things that happen with plastic surgery. Um, and so I've got some friends here today. Hello, ladies. Hey, darling. So we are talking about plastic surgery and aren't you here because you've had it? Yes. Yep. So you guys are not scared to come forward and say you've been under the knife no. and you've had the chop. No, Multiple not at all. times. Multiple times. You see, this is what I like. Yeah. Because honestly, I see these things and I want it. Mm-hmm. And I, I I know I want a certain body. And everybody's like, oh, why don't you go gym? Gym can't make my tits go up here. Mm-mm. This no. is the problem. No amount of bra. Sometimes I have to wear two bras, you know. Like it's peak out here. And do you remember, I messaged you on Instagram and I asked her. Mm-hmm. The reason why I know she had surgery is because I said, what bra have you got on? Your tits look great. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> do you well, remember that? Yeah. And she said, oh, babe, <laughs> it's not a bra. This is surgery. And I was like, stop that. Yeah. Because they look, obviously you're not showcasing it today, mm-hmm. but I'm going to put up some pictures of you in between. No problem. And they are, and up. they are there. They're there. Definitely. So what have you had done? So I've had um, breast lift with implants. I've had a tummy tuck and I've had lipo. Right. And what have you had, Lucia? I've had breast implants twice. Um, and then just the odd bit of Botox and lip filler. But I ha- yeah. So. And my girl says the odd bit, you know. <laughs> I can't reveal all my secrets. <laughs> the odd bit. Okay. So culturally as well, mm-hmm. I think surgery has changed considerably mm-hmm. because I would say black don't crack. Yeah. yeah. And I ain't never getting no Botox. But as I'm approaching my 40s, I'm noticing some real mm-hmm. little things going on. I can so, see that. Right, because I've got heavy makeup on today. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's really serious. If you met me like an hour ago, we'd be talking something different. Mm-hmm. So tell me about this Botox thing. So when I first started having Botox, I was 21. Wow. Yeah, so I'm 29 now. Jeez, I'm um, So yeah, um, I initially started having just two areas. So my forehead, my eyebrows here. And Why did you feel at 21 you needed that? Do you know what? If I'm honest, I don't think I felt I needed it. I just wanted it. Okay. Um, as I got older and I left gaps bigger between sessions, I started realising, oh, my face is actually moving like this now and it wasn't doing that before. And then if, like, for example, when I was pregnant with my middle daughter, obviously you can't have Botox. So that would be a nine-month gap where I'd normally have three sessions in that uh-huh. period. And so by the end of my pregnancy... It was a massive insecurity of mine. I was like, oh my God, I need to go get my Botox done because I've got this big, heavy line here. And to everyone else, everyone would be like, oh no, it's nothing, it's nothing. And to me, it was a big deal. Right. So I was, the first thing I did, I was running to the, the Botox. Botox. Mm. But it's not cheap. How much is Botox? It's not cheap. So uh, I think it's like £240 every three months. Men. But, but I would I would find what? a way to pay for it regardless it. if it becomes yeah. an addiction. Because I'm thinking two forty. There's some of us that buy wigs for two fifty, mm-hmm. and we buy that every three months. That's true. So everybody's got their own poison, mm-hmm. right? So when you would made a decision, mm-hmm. what was the first thing that you had done, or did you do everything one I'd time? I done my breast first, right? So what made you decide this is what I so want to do? I was going to do everything at first, right? And when I did approach them, the surgeons, they said that they won't touch me because I'm overweight. Right. So I done a big weight loss, and whilst I was losing weight, my breasts were getting more droppy. The and gravity was what serious. Was that? Oh, horrible. Where did you go for Clinic it? Club. Clinic hub. Clinic hub. In the UK? No, Turkey. Oh so you went God. to Turkey. To- Jeez. So, so you're following the trend because mm-hmm. everybody, me, yeah, it does. Yeah. Everybody no, right now is going Turkey. I've yeah. No, but a lot of people's been going to to um. Oh gosh, where did they go before? Tunisia. Oh, Tunisia. I never heard yeah. of Tunisia. They're all over the place Yeah, now. so I, I know a lot of people to go to, to Tunisia first. Right. And then Turkey started to be popular. Right, but weren't you scared? Okay, I don't know if you... Do you speak Turkish? <laughs> <laughs> like, all I know about Turkey is I eat kebabs. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a mixed on a girl all day long. So really and truly, you're going to a country mm-hmm. that you don't know. With language barriers. Language barriers. <laughs> into don't a know hosp- where I am. There's really. no NHS. Nope. 
Does your insurance cover you out there? No. Nope. Jeez, I'm bright. What, what, what no. You, what, no, honestly, what are you thinking? So I, I went off, um, I'd done my research. Right. I inquired up, I, I dig deep and found people who's gone to the actual surgeon. Right. And then that's how I built, built up my confidence. And I was like, you know what? Let me just get this over and done with. But why did you want your tits done? Like, because they were like, if I was to lay them on my back, yeah, my, my chest was like a man. Like, there's nothing there. <laughs> yeah, it goes to the side. Just so it goes to, to the, the sides. Side. And how did it get like that? Was it like me losing weight? Yeah, weight. So it was my being ready from having my bad. kids. Right. So how many kids you got? Three. Right. And you've got three as well. Yeah. Right. So you're saying breastfeeding mm-hmm. and life and weight loss. Everything like The that. weight gain, the weight loss, everything, the skin elasticity sort of just, it, you lose it. But some people would say, this is what God's given you. So you've basically tampered with your blessing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is what you've been blessed with. Yeah. It's almost like you're insulting God by saying, I'm not happy, happy with your creation. Yes, I'm going to fix it. I'm going to fix it. That's like, how I like and it. And how did you feel about that? Like, I don't think about that. Okay. I didn't think about so that. So you're just thinking about yourself. I just yourself. wanted to get it done to make myself happy. Right. And was it about a man thing. though? No. It, that's Mine the thing. Wasn't. It's all about how yeah. you feel. It was and was yours about a man? No, I mean, I was 18. I was, I, I already had my consultation book before I turned 18. So you got your first breast done when you was 18. Mm-hmm. Bearing in mind, mm-hmm. you're not even fully formed. I had your first child. No, none of the above. So what? So then, why did you feel that you need to get your breasts on at eighteen? Do you know what? It's really strange to say, but throughout my teenage years, I always wanted bigger breasts. Like I had very little, mm. and it was all the way through school, all the way through like my first year of college. I was like, I want my breasts done, and mm. I knew I was going to get them done. It was just how was I going to get them done? and then by any means necessary by any means literally and how at 18 did you manage to find the funds to pay for your breasts mm. well um <laughs> sore subject uh well half of it was um so terrible saying this my granddad died and left me some money well that's so, not bad that's too sore to me but not bad <laughs> okay yeah why is so, it sore though oh that's just rude like, you think it's rude but your granddad left yes. it for you probably not for that purpose but yeah <laughs> but hey granddad you here i am on the it. table getting my tits done me how to spend it. No. So there you go. Exactly. i mean my mum was quite disappointed but i kind of said to her like because the clinic that i went to they were like your mum has to come you've just turned 18 right my consultation mm. was actually on my 18th birthday so they were like your mum has to come wow. there's no way we can see you without an adult oh, God, yeah. yeah so i was like mum you're gonna come with me nope not coming you shouldn't be doing it blah 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 blah. back and forth back and forth for weeks from the day i booked it and then i said to her the day before like i'm getting this done so you either come with me to the clinic that want you there or i go to a clinic where they don't care Mm. and the standard of care and everything else may well be different there but regardless to whether you come or not tomorrow i'm getting it done then she came and you had your first surgery at 18 yes 27th of november my birthday was the 31st of october and you, this was in the UK? This was in the UK. Mm. And you chose Turkey because of money? Turkey. Yeah. It's cheaper. And it's your health. Right. Yeah. Because my thing is, what worries me is that mm-hmm. I'm a mother of one, you guys are a mother of more. Mm-hmm. If anything, God forbid, happens to me, I'm le- leaving babies. And fundamentally, I'm leaving babies for breasts. Like, yeah. mm. to, like, what yeah. happened? I think for me, it sounds so selfish, but I was not thinking about that. I feel mm. like I didn't like how I looked. To make myself happy, mm. let me just do it. And I just prayed to God that I will come back. Yeah. <laughs> I'll come back and I was fine. I didn't have to go to no hospital. I didn't get no infection, thank God. Everything just went smooth for me. I really believe once you got it in your head, it's happening. Yeah. It's Nothing happening. can stop you.